Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on 790 The Bet. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency. Hey, welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray as we talk uh, Bassmaster Classic. And it's coming up on Lake Hartwell here in uh, just about uh, March 4th through 6th. And Kittles. our man Ron Wong will be over there along yeah. with, uh, of course, Samantha Gay. And he's added another person to help us keep going on, and that's Candace Harper. Harper. Candace yeah. Harper. We got you know, Ron, and, Ron, and, and, you Ron, know, it's Ron Saturday Ron. morning here. Yeah. I'm getting ready to go. You're um, getting ready to roll. Because media day is Thursday, the actual tournament. And there's some things going on the day before also, but well, you the need, actual it, classic is a, Friday through Sunday. It'll take you about six hours to drive over, Ron. I wish here. it was yeah. all. Yeah, but... Uh, Hey, let's roll it along here. Tori Schof is in here with us from Wally Hatchet's uh, restaurant out on Summer Avenue, 64. 39. 64, 39, 64, 39 Summer Avenue, one of the, our new sponsors on Outdoors with Larry Ray. And he's kind of taking this all in as we talk to guys that uh, fishing's the on best, their mind. Fishing's the best of the their, best. Best of the best. And Let's go with a guy that just won $100,000 and didn't realize he had 15 cousins that just showed up. You know, I mean, uh, what can you do when you win a lot of money? Let's talk to Buddy Gross right now. Good morning, Buddy. Good morning, guys. Thank you for having me on the show. Thanks for being on the show. Let's talk classic with you. I know that uh, coming off a big win uh, down in Leesburg, Florida on the hey, Harris Congratulations yeah, on that, buddy. Yeah, congratulations. Thank 77 you. pounds, 11 ounces. Are you, do you, are they still in the live well? Are you bringing those to Hartwell? I mean, uh, Woo, I wish I could. I'd take it. You, you'd take that 77 pounds. Well, let's talk, <laughs> talk a little bit about, about it, buddy, about this big win that you had. I know you, uh, had a, you won at Lake Ufala, if I'm not sure, uh, in 2020. So you've had that success and everything. Uh, talk about what it means to you to be in this classic. I mean, it, it's the world. I mean, I, last year I made the classic, but I was injured. I had That's right. You up. were injured, yeah. Yeah, what happened last year? Oh, I was on my daughter's horse, and I fell off of it. That's what I Sweet thought. Mike, super bad. Yeah, yeah. But uh, so, so let's put that behind us, so to speak. So technically That's this right. – you're you're ready for this one. Yeah, we're can, we're gonna show up for this one healthy and make a run at this one. I'm hoping. How does that? How does uh, Lake Hartwell set up for you, buddy? I know that uh, you're very very good with your electronics. Yes. Uh, especially yeah. the forward imaging, and then you know you're very good at structure fishing also. Uh, how does Lake Hartwell set up for you? You know if. If it's still cold over here, they're going to be set up in a lot of these drains and ditches on this standing timber, so it'll be about like fishing the structure we do at home. And if they're not and they're making some moves, then they're going to be, you know, moving back in these pockets, staging up. So any of that pre-spawn stuff I really enjoy, and, and, and really I hope that's what's going on. But we're just going to have to go fishing. We can't have any preconceived notions, and we're just going to see if we can figure out and uh, catch us some big ones this week. Well, I know – I know. Uh, you, you, even though uh, you've you've been very successful, very consistent since you've been in the elite here, as far as finishing in the money and things along that line, what did that win in Leesburg do to your confidence as you go into this tournament? I've never been able to go into something like this with that kind of confidence and that kind of momentum. So I'm 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 really pumped up. I mean, I'm ready to go and. Uh, I think we can use some of that momentum to help us stay focused on the goal here. I think it's going to be a great tournament. And also that uh, that tournament was a, a hair, hair, hairy affair, so to speak. I mean, you and uh, Drew Benton, uh, you, you, you know, you you slipped in there, but you really have. You got down to sixth place, and, and you came into the championship on that Sunday and really, you really had a great day. So talk about the experience of winning there. You know, it yeah, it was a blessing, really, that I found what I found because every day my fish kept moving. And when huh. I say moving, yeah. they would mm-hmm. be gone. So I fished pretty much six places all week. And you catch a straggler or two off the place you fished the day before, but 
the quality and numbers of fish came from somewhere new every day, and we got on that spot on the last day, and when I started catching them, I caught them, and they were all three eighties to five and a half pounders. So wow. when you start to fish like that, you make up some ground in a hurry. And one of the main f- factors was it had to be shell beds, right? Yes, sir. I was catching them either on shell beds or very near shell beds yeah. all week. Okay, yeah. And, and Lake Hartwell. Now, how many times have you fished Lake Hartwell? Uh, I've only fished one tournament there, and it wasn't very good. I think somebody told me last night I fished 168. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Somebody had to tell you that. You just knew it wasn't very yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I put that thing way out of my memory. I, I promise you, I wasn't keeping that number in my head. No, no, no that's no, right. No, no. We, that's, 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 that's have like, you Have you had a chance to uh, pre-fish Hartwell? Yeah. I went over before it went off limits, and I didn't do a whole lot of fishing. I did a whole lot of looking. So yeah. I don't have to do a whole lot of looking when we get there. We're going to do a whole lot of fishing and try to figure out what's going to be going on. Right. And you're a very versatile uh, yes, fisherman. Uh, I yeah. mean, you you you're just as comfortable with a drop shot as you are throwing a uh, a big crankbait or a big spinner bait or or a vibrating jig or a swim a jig or whatever. Um, yeah. So, what do you think? What do you think uh, it's going to take? Yeah, what's it going to take, buddy, to win this thing? What would you take right now, Ron's Come up, and we've already talked to these other guys, and I think they've all been in cahoots. That's a word I always used in Arkansas, cahoots. But uh, I guess you use that in Chattanooga. But uh, what do, what do you think? I think maybe. Are you this 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 is a conspiracy? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, did you have you already talked to Hackney? I mean, uh. I well, to what, so why mid fifties? What are you saying? Well, I think it'll take more than fifteen pounds a day because if you use it fifteen, it's going to be forty five. I think somebody in the bus. So you you're, you're yeah. looking at fifteen, and and then a little bit more than that, right? Uh, and fish. I really believe it's going to be some good fishing. Yeah. Uh, how does the lake set up for you? Yeah. In your style. You know, I really don't know yet. I, I found some things that I think will be right up my alley. I just don't know if the fish are going to be on it. So I'm going to be comfortable. I'm going to make myself comfortable because this is the Bassmasters Classic. And, yeah. You know, it, if you make it, you're already getting paid. So now you got to try to make it. That's right. So, yes. Yeah. I mean, you're, you, you've you already earned something by being there. So I think somebody had made mention, you know, you just winning this tournament there at the Harris Chain. Yeah. Are you buying a new horse? Oh, no, don't say no, that to no, him. No, huh? No more horses. <laughs> hey, but don't get on them horses, buddy. Okay, I've got bad experiences. If you get on a horse, make sure it's not named Dynamite. Okay? Yeah, I but mean, your little girl would sure love one. Yeah. Well, it, it, yeah so you are you going to... Are you going to buy one uh, for Bella? Is that the is that the horse person in your life? That is the horse person, and no, sir, she's not getting no more horses. She's got to get no more horses, okay. <laughs> unless it's in a car. I mean, when she gets to be older and everything. So, well, buddy, we. I'll get a plenty of horse fire. <laughs> but, hey, I, I've got to throw something in here, Larry, buddy. This is Bill Cooksey. Um, my wife watched you. Uh, just went a tournament here about a week ago, watched you on television, and the more she watched, the more she said, I really like that guy. I'm for him in the Classic. He's going to win. So <laughs> I, I don't know if she has any inside knowledge, but she got a feeling there. So There you go, buddy. We love the prayers. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. There you go. Okay, well, that's – that's uh, Nana Cooksey, right, Bill? That's so, right. Uh, that's so it. you have a fan right there, buddy. Okay, that's uh, – yep. That's the winner, but we appreciate you taking time, buddy, to be with us. Uh, safe journey, great time. Uh, uh, look out for Ron and Samantha. They'll be over there shooting some videos and interviewing people. And uh, go get them, buddy. Okay. Buddy, we'll Thank see you at the classic. You. Thank you, buddy. Yes, Thank you. All right. All right, buddy. Gross. As you see, as we roll along, it's the fastest 90 minutes in outdoor radio programming. I'll we only got you. one segment left, right, uh, yep. Bill Cooksey? <laughs> that's right and you know hey one of my best friends and this last guy we're going to talk to one of my best friends was just in the boat with him wire to wire in a win so, really oh, yeah yeah john was uh wire to wire to win yeah right. so the so the the, the boat the non-boater uh, i mean the 
Well, no, my, my, one of my best friends is Jake Latondras. He's a cameraman. For yeah, Paris, okay. And, he, and he, he was in the boat with Cruz all the yeah. way? Every day. Wow. Okay. Every day. Well, we're going to talk That's to John Cruz. Another man that's won some money. Buddy Gross just won some money. John Cruz, uh, he just cranked out, and uh, but he's won money before. This guy's been around mm-hmm. for a while. He's only won, uh, Tori, he's only won uh, $1.5 million in his career. So, <laughs> are you thinking about getting out of the restaurant business and going into fishing? <laughs> and for some reason, I just lost my love for cooking. I'm he just lost his love for cooking. <laughs> he wants to be a fisherman now. It ain't easy, right, Cooksey? So, <laughs> no, no. No. That's, that's why Ron and I are on the radio show full that's time right. rather than out fishing and getting interviewed about it. Well, that's right. That's true. But uh, Ron had to make some decisions in his life, and he said, I just think I just won't be a pro fisherman. I'll just be on Outdoors with Larry Ray. That's right. <laughs> that's right. That's <laughs> right. All right, let's take a break. Come right back and close this baby out on Outdoors with Larry Ray with the cruise missile man himself, John Cruz. We'll be right back. 